right, good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel, Get It In With D. I'm D. And right now I am with Shanita. Hi. <laughs> and it's Saturday morning. We are at boot camp right now. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. So we just wrapped up the boot camp <laughs> and I did terrible. I did terrible. It was like a couple of stations. How many stations it was like? It was three stations. It was three separate stations and I think I quit after the first round. First round. I didn't eat breakfast and I felt real dizzy and I was sweating and everything like that. But it was a lot. It was intense. It was intense. I made it through it. She did an excellent job. She made it all the way through. I punked out like after the second station. And it we had a little extra stuff too, like like when the the little race. I showed y'all a picture of the little race people was doing. Um, I showed y'all some of the stations and everything like that. So, Shanita, would you come back? Yes, I'll come back. You think it's oh and it was free y'all it was free so it was free it's on Saturday so if you want to come out hit me up she can give you the information but it's it's a free boot camp so you can't go wrong with it and it's a good workout if you try to slim down lose some weight whatever mm -hmm. yeah I just couldn't make it through but I will come back and she's going to complete the whole thing next time. <laughs> she's not going to leave me hanging. Let me die. She, she did an excellent job. I got some pictures of me sweating. I got some pictures of her sweating. So this was this was a great uh, workout boot camp. It was free Saturday mornings at 9. And I guess we'll be back next week. Yeah. Next I week. Maybe. <laughs> or every other week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll see about next week. Right. Maybe every other week. Yes. All right. See you in a little bit. Okay, y'all good. Okay, we turn it back. Y'all ready? It's still good because see what says empty and resorts. So we stopped at the 295. Yeah, sign. 295 sign. So next week we got because it's only it's 1010. 10. We did good. What time we start? About 910? Mm-hmm. About 915. 915. Yeah. So we walk for an hour. Yeah. Are we live? No, just video. Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey, we walked a little uh, further today. Yeah. Thanks to me. I don't have sliding socks today. Uh, Good morning, ladies. Good morning. All right, so y'all want to do a, a U-turn? So now we're going to walk back. We're, we stopped at the... Two, ex, not, the, two, the sign that says Acti 295 North. So now we're going to walk back. That's the beltway. Yeah, so now we're going to walk back. Now we're about to shove our foot and let the other go. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have a skinny nut in two weeks. Welcome back to my kitchen and today I'm going to be making one of my favorites again Jamaican brown stew chicken. So I have my chicken thighs 
and drumsticks here and I'm going to marinate that with some sugar and an onion and it has to marinate for at least an hour. So while that's marinating, just for my sides here, I'm going to cut up some cabbage. So I'm going to make some fried cabbage. And I also have just my little box rice. And I'm going to throw in some red beans for my peas and rice. Um, I don't know nothing much about plantains. I know they're supposed to be black. But the easy way to get through that is just to go ahead and get some regular old frozen plantains. And these are really good. So I have that. And then because I could not get any cocoa bread or wasn't trying to do all that, I just got some Hawaiian King Rolls here for that sweet taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get started and show you all everything. So while that's marinating, I'm just going to go ahead and cut up my cabbage. It's been washed. Get that together. So this butter and olive oil has melted down. I'm just going to go ahead and add that cabbage. And what you do with the cabbage is you just get it browned up and then you add water to it. And unfortunately, I don't have a lid for this skillet, this cast iron skillet, so we're going to have to do what we got to do. So again, just let that brown up. And in the meantime, I'm going to add my seasons. And some people do add an onion, but I ain't trying to do all that right now. You can add an onion, you could add sausage, you can add bacon. So that was just salt, garlic. And now I'm going to add pepper. Not a lot. All right, y'all. So the cabbage is done. The rice is just a boiling away. And now I'm going to get started on this chicken. So the chicken has been marinating in the sugar and the onions. rice is done. I just took it off the bag. And now what I'm going to do is just add some of the red beans here. Not a lot. Mix that on up. Just add a little, a little season. A little pepper. And just let that cook. Cook down. Alright, and that's just the peas and rice. 
And again, just let it, I'm gonna cover it and just let it seep some more. All right, so if you heard me, maybe you did, you didn't. But what the key to brown stew chicken is actually getting the chicken brown first. It's not going to be done. It's not going to be done. It's just going to be brown. So this is where the stew comes in. So I actually have my peppers. And so it still has some of that gooey in the bottom. And we're just going to bring that all up. Bring that up. And then the onions from when it was marinating. And you see how it's browning up? See how it's browning up? That's where this brown comes in. Because the sugar kind of burns. And then you want to deglaze it all up. Bring it up for that brown. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do while this is cooking up. Actually, let me turn up a little bit more. While this is cooking up again, this is the stew part. I'm going to add ketchup. I got another here. That's going to help it to thicken up. And give it a little sweet tomatoey taste. Alright, so once that's the beginning of the stew, you just put the chicken back in it. And remember y'all, it wasn't cooked all the way. It's going to cook in this water. So with the sugar, the ketchup, all that. everybody so everything is just about done the chicken is finishing up Let me get that out your way. the chicken is finishing up the brown stew is coming along we got the plantains the cabbage peas and rice and then just the little sweet rolls so I'm gonna go ahead and put a plate together and we'll see all right y'all so here's the final plate I have my cabbage peas and rice plantains and the brown stew chicken and the rolls so here is my take and I'm just gonna go ahead and feed this up to my family thanks y'all all right guys so that is the end of this vlog I hope you all enjoyed it um, in the beginning you saw us at boot camp and that was actually about two weeks ago that thing was really really hard um, I do walk the bridge every week some of you may know um, and I may have put some of that in there the thing with this YouTube is like you kind of film stuff and then you just put it together um, sometimes it's an order sometimes it's not so but I did do the boot camp and then I did the bridge walk and now it's like two weeks later so um, I'm showing off the brown stew chicken I hope you all like it give it a try um, I know some people put ketchup in it, some people don't, but I saw this about a uh, couple of years ago on YouTube and it looked delicious and I've been making it this way ever since, no problem. So that's just my little take on the Jamaican classic brown stew chicken, okay? Um, and just an update on where I am with all of my journeys and activities and stuff like that. I did get back into swim lesson. It starts up in roughly about a month or so. So I'm very excited, looking forward to getting back in the water. I am. I, I really thought I was going to have to wait like months, but I checked the website and it was available. So in about a month, I'll be starting my swim lesson back up. Swim lessons back up. Um, My weight loss as of today, I'm down to 154. I did get down to 153, but I think I may have kicked it a little bit too hard or something. But as of today, I'm 154. And today's Monday, so I like to set goals. So my next milestone will, of course, be 150. So 
doing really good with that so my swim lesson my weight loss oh and just to let you know because I, I did make the brown stew chicken with the brown stew chicken um i ate the chicken and the cabbage i did not eat the rice i did not eat the bread i did not eat the plantains because remember y'all i'm doing keto no carbs and everything like that so the weight is coming off walking gym hmm, but definitely still walking um and the weight's falling off and my ultimate goal was 135 but y'all i don't know that i mean i'm losing and i can see myself getting smaller um so i'm down like 21 pounds which is wonderful um but i may need to, i'm 154 right now so when i get to like maybe 145 140 i may take another look at that i'm 5'3 um, and i don't want to be itty bitty teeny tiny you know but i don't know if i can do another i don't know what 20 pounds will come from because i'm not like a I don't have like a whole lot of meat on me so um but we'll see we'll see so that's where i am with my weight loss and my swim and still working out walking and all that stuff and i hope you all enjoyed the chicken thank you for watching see you all next time bye